Yeah, so if you want to say. No, but now, if you have any more questions, I'll be more than ready. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm a member of 100 <coughs> black men and alumni, Auburn State University, and another group too. But uh, we've been meeting on Saturdays for now. Um, what is this? Oh, uh, this is 12, roughly. God knows, uh, since, it, since the inception of the library on that end. And we met in the morning, uh, the um, second, the first Saturday in the month at uh, 8 o'clock. We normally would be out at 9, 9.30, and we could drop our keys in the drop box and, and, and go home. But that was after we inspected the place that we held our meetings. So I think I might have seen you down the key, I'm not, I'm not sure. And of course, you know we do a lot of good things. We um, we we're trying to help the youth. That's primarily what we work with. And that's an opportunity for us to get together. It's the best opportunity for our group to get together. And we're in the process of completing the house on the corner of Truth and MLK. Hopefully, we won't have to bother that after that. But the process still remains. Um, on that end of town, we need a little bit of maybe. Uh, uh, a change. We need a change. We need you to go back and reconsider your uh, uh, desire or your um, change, change from using the library to not using it all on Saturday morning. We, uh, we're not trash your folk. And, the, and, and whatever happened didn't happen down there. It happened up here. So uh, I haven't heard anybody say they're going to you know, penalize anybody on this end of this library for whatever went down. I don't agree that we ought to come in and have a place, but I think we ought to be fine if we do. And if we, as a, a member of the 100 Black Men at Auburn State University, if we left, if I got the key for an afternoon meeting, and you came in that next morning and you said, we strove food all over the place, then it's our responsibility to correct that. Even if I know we did not serve food if it happened while I had the key. And this is this. That's my problem. I, I, don't, I don't like. I don't think the whole uh, all Lyons County ought to penalize because you have one episode up here. And you could very easily have one up here. Do you have an alarm in this building? Mm -hmm. Yes. You have an alarm. Did the alarm go off? You said somebody spent the night in here or something. Yeah. Somebody. So when the alarm went off, somebody, the policeman came and uh, arrested. I'll arrest you, people in here. Uh, no, this build, this part of the building. Always not alarmed. We found them by looking at our video, um, video surveillance, and we discovered that they had spent the night in the library. So my question is, who who, who closed the library? It looks like the person who last used, uh, who was here last as an employee, would have had to check thoroughly, thoroughly. Well, they met after they met after hours, so there were no employees. So you had the name of the group who did that? Yes. Yeah. So did you? Chastise them, or did you find and, them? Well, we changed our policy here that said and previously groups here had been allowed to meet on the weekends after hours, and we did change that policy and applied that policy to all branches that no one can meet after hours at any branch. But, Which so that's, I guess that's our discussion. That, that's our discussion today. I mean, you have, is that the only episode you have? Is that the only? Time you had something go wrong that you made a blanket statement. Right. Like that? Before I made that change, our previous policy also said that no one was allowed to meet at the branches on Saturday and Sunday. And I mean, I I, I understand the uh, concern, but that would be like my driving down the street and I get a ticket for speeding, this and you give everybody else behind me a speeding ticket. I mean, no, this you know. incident, you were breaking the policy before that policy was changed. Our previous policy in 2009 also stated that no meetings on Saturday or Sunday at the branches were allowed. But I understand that you have uh, you have changed the um, um, policy. I understand that. I understand how the board works. I understand all of that. But my concern is not the fact that uh, you have the authority to do that. My concern is that you penalize everybody else because we have one episode in this in this. No, you're actually penalizing anyone. The policy. Oh yeah, you penalize us if you don't. No, well, I don't. I don't.